All right, guys, so we just got this in the mail. This is the Noxen portable air compressor. I do a lot of river floating where I'm from in Washington. I also have a pool, so uh, inflatable toys. My kids play sports, ride bikes. We all drive cars. So I thought this may be the solution to continuously having to air up their flat tires. Uh, inflatables that we always have to buy because they pop. And let's just go ahead and get this box open. Uh, before I open it, this is kind of what it has attachment for, I'm assuming. And cordless inflation, digital display, LED light, 150 PSI, preset pressure, and auto shut off. All right, let's open it up. First thing I see is a, like a little suede case. It's actually pretty thick. Has some drawstrings to it to keep it safe and protected. We got the instruction manual, which isn't that big. Tells you kind of the button details, things like that. I believe they said this one has a flashlight on it as well. So. Looks like this is a tire gauge that comes with it. Maybe just screws on. We have the unit here, which is, uh, let me see if I can get a measurement on this so you guys can kind of get an idea of how long it is. This is gonna be about nine and a quarter inches and about two inches wide. All right. I don't know if it has any power to it when it's sent in the mail. Press and hold. All right, so I turned it on by pressing this power button. There's also a button that has a U on it. I don't know what this blue button does. This button here. PSI, looks like you can bring the PSI up and down. So, on the back of it, so that's the front, the sides are just grips, looks like. On the back of it, there's a storage compartment with other attachments. So it looks like this is for like balls, basketball, footballs. I'm not sure what this does just yet, but we're gonna keep it in there so I don't lose it. And looks like I put it in there wrong. When you put it back in there, you might wanna do that. All right, let's go ahead and screw on this. Looks like there's a USB. Let me see if there's a power cord. I didn't see a power cord, so there's obviously gotta be a way to charge it. One of these are gonna be the charging port, and hopefully you can charge a cell phone or something with this, that'd be cool. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and screw that on. I don't know what this rubber piece is for. But, let's see if, say if we wanted to do 38 PSI. I have no idea. Okay, this, this U changes, I guess that U's for units of measure. PSI, bar, KPA, KG, CM squared, all that fancy stuff. Again, I don't know what this is, so let's find out. That would be button six. That's a power bank button. So, maybe if you press that, that light will indicate how much power is left on it. It's blue, so I'm assuming that's good. And USB type C is the number eight. So that's a USB-C, which is pretty cool. I thought that was a regular USB. And in the box on the side is going to be a little lanyard for the pouch. And that is a charging port. So looks like it charges USB-C and that may be so you can charge other devices. Let's go ahead and take this outside and see exactly how this thing works and see if I can actually get it to inflate something. Hopefully it has enough power. All right guys, so we are outside. 
And as you guys can see, my son needs a new seat, obviously on his bike. But, I mean, these kids have some little scooters that need to be aired up, some bikes. So let me see if I can get this on there. Front tire is good. All right, it's powered on. Let me see if I can get to 40 PSI. Okay, I want 40. How do you start it? Just press the power button or what? There we go. Looks like you gotta press the power button first. We're gonna stop at 20 and then do it. And then it gets to zero. So it knows it's set to 40. And you press the power button, it'll go to zero. You press the power button, that's when it'll start airing it up. And I believe the auto shut off will stop at 40, I'm not sure. Still wondering how to get this flashlight to work. I think I do need to charge it. You can see it comes with a little bit of a charge, but yeah, so that's the Nilkson, you guys. I'm gonna be using this quite often, especially in the summer. Um, I got this off Amazon, so check it out. So one more thing, it looks like you press and hold this U button and the flashlight turns on. Press and hold it again and the flashlight turns off. And choose the pressure you want. Once you have it there, it'll set, go back to zero, and that's when you just press power. And it should automatically stop when it reaches the pressure. I have it now charged in through the USB-C, and that's the power bank. So yeah, charge your cell phone, flashlight, everything's up, all in one.